thank you so much for your time uh, i wanted to talk to, uh, here about in this video regarding public procurement means tender which is very popular in uh, in all over the world means we are going to talk about the rules and scenarios that are happening in uh, pakistan as well as india so let's let's just start with the first question what are the questions that you have please mr sajad ask the first question what is the meaning of public procurement well the public procurement is basically are the tenders that that are regulated uh, all over the country for the people so that they can have the transactions uh, between a party a to party b so these are the government rules set in 2014 for the transparency for the public uh, so that it can be easy for you to sell buy and good products on a larger scale which are the three major pillars of the public procurement well uh, there if you talk about the three major pillars there are, you have to have the cdr which is the advance that you have to deposit as as uh, the, as as a security fee and the second would be the ntn you have to have the ntn right ntn authentic one and the gst how many types of tenders do we have well we have so many types of tenders that that are regulated in this country we we, we have to start with the printing tenders and there are we have civil work tenders available we have laundry tenders as well as the medicine tenders and it tenders furniture tenders like there is variety of tenders that that people deal in pakistan can a bidder withdraw a bid after a bid opening no it cannot be withdrawn after the opening it had uh, once the procedure is completed then you will see what's the results what is a uh, earnest money deposit emd in tenders well the earnest money deposit you have to uh, say that it's the security fund that you deposit in advance before the tender is submitted or the bid it in the in the in, in, in the company what happens when a tender gets delayed well if a tender gets delayed it will be postponed to the next uh, session or the next day what is a tender document well there are so many tender documents which are really really important you have to talk about gst uh, rates uh, rate list id documents uh, and as well as we have cdr and we have to take care of all the documents that are as per demand by the by the company or by the sitting right next to you it is quite easy to get to know the winning price at the moment is there any way the bidder gets the refund of the tender document fee in case He is not successful. Well, uh, you will get the refund uh, on the same day. Uh, the, the bid session is over. The refund will be done on the same day. What is the minimum qualification uh, cr criteria for bidding in a tender? Well, as uh, currently there is no, no no minimum qualification criteria, you know, regulated in Pakistan as per the PEPRA rules. So these are the questions that you had to ask me. I have the list here. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Sajad, and uh, I hope this information helps us or uh, audience as well as the students who are trying to learn about the tenders and how they operate and regulated in our country. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.